This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in Mannequin Sabbath. Today we're going to take a look at a five bedroom, two and a half bath home. This home is located here on a very quiet side street. Uh, actually, you only have two neighbors, and in fact, uh, that is the entrance route into this neighborhood. Uh, that is, of course, the neighbor. And to the left is our subject property. We've got a U shaped driveway. And then further in the distance, and you might be able to see the yellow house, the gold house, there in the middle of the frame. But they're quite a ways away. They actually uh, go straight right there at that Y. So, as with many uh, more rural type properties, uh, there's not a lot of density here. And a lot of people love that. You don't have home right on top of each other, uh, got good distance. And uh, we have an amazing backyard, uh, really nice distance between uh, the property and uh, the tree line. So this is a nice little separation from what I normally do. Of course, most of the homes I cover are in higher density areas, but I like to show some of the variety that we have here in Central Virginia. So if you're not a big fan of having neighbors uh, that are 30, 40, 50 feet away, uh, this might be a, a great option for you. This home technically hasn't even hit the market yet. The owner, who is also an agent, was kind enough to allow me to come and uh, bring it to you. You can see we've got seed and straw here to get this lawn nice and established. This home was actually an addition. Uh, actually, two additions were put on the original structure. Uh, so a good portion of this home is actually brand new. I'm not going to walk all the way around. It's a little muddy out, but I want to give you a shot here from the rear corner so you can see uh, exactly what we have. We sit up, as you can see, nice and high. And a lot of people love that because you're not going to have drainage issues. That water is going to go right on down this hill. And uh, we've got nice distance there. You would definitely need a riding mower back here. Uh, you would not want to cut this by hand by any stretch. And here is our rear elevation. You can see we have the two outside units, so we know that it's a dual zone. We've got a little area there uh, in the, the back. That deck will give nice privacy. Uh, you won't be able to see anyone on the deck from either side of the home. Uh, so I really like what I see so far here on this craftsman style home. With these types of properties, we typically have well and septic systems. And of course, the well and septic systems do have their own set of uh, maintenance requirements. And uh, when someone purchases a home like that, we have some special tests and inspections that are done. So it's important to know kind of what to expect when buying a home, to know what type of septic system is in place. And of course, a good buyer's agent is gonna bring you up to speed on all of that. And there's plenty of information uh, readily available online as far as the care maintenance and considerations for the different systems. We've got a nice little stamped patio here in the front. And I love the window. We're gonna see that view from the inside, uh, but I like here that you can actually sit out and uh, relax. Just one more spot where you can enjoy this nice lot. It's uh, approximately two acres in size, just under two acres. Okay, here on the inside, love what they did here. It's got a nice vaulted ceiling, nice contemporary kitchen. And of course, a nice big table right here, taking advantage of the amazing view uh, that we have out the window. I'm gonna move here to this side of the home and give you a shot from this corner. We're now gonna go into our first bedroom. Now this is technically a bedroom. However, this could easily be repurposed as an office. This would be a great location for an office. And if you've watched the last several videos, you know the reasoning I'm going to give for that is because we are right here next to the kitchen, easily accessible to the snacks. All right, we've got a closet here and all of the closets in this home are going to be oversized closets. I love uh, the thought that was put into the design to give us nice custom closets uh, in every bedroom. And there's actually a double closet in the primary so definitely a lot of storage space okay here in the kitchen our island we've got a nice big quartz island deep stainless sink uh notice we have the contrasting cabinets once again we've got the gray on the left and then the white as our main set of cabinets we've seen that before 
nice gray subway tile backsplash, and of course the stainless range hood. These are gonna be 42 inch cabinets, and all of our appliances do convey. We actually have a Wolf microwave there. If you know your appliances, Wolf is top of the line. We've got a smooth top there and a dishwasher on the other side, stainless dishwasher. All right, I'm gonna move through this kitchen and our fridge is right here on the edge. This is an LG with ice and water in the door. Just a really nice layout. Directly behind is gonna be our family room. And once again, we've got a nice vaulted ceiling, plenty of natural light flows in. There's so much space here. There's plenty of things that you can do here as far as design. We've got two doors, one here, and then one here that will allow us to go out to the deck. Here on the back for privacy, not that you would need it here, but if you wanted to draw these shades, this will actually do that for us. They're built into the glass, so that's nice and durable, really neat feature. Let's pop out here on the deck and see what else we have out here. Okay, so you've got enough space here. If you wanted to put a table, a grill, you could easily do so. And looking out over this nice, big, peaceful lot of just so quiet out here. I imagine they get uh, deer and other visitors back here on a regular basis. Uh, we are definitely in a wildlife area. All right, let's go back in and see what else we have in store in this space. To the right is going to be an oversized pantry, and this is a truly a walk-in pantry. Uh, we actually have space in here for more shelving. They've got the shelf there. Uh, you could run a shelf right there in this middle of the wall and then additional shelving here on the left side. So you've got plenty of space here for your storage. Okay, we are now going to go down uh, to the right here. Our hallway is going to take us to our main bedroom wing. We do have a powder room right here on the right. Notice the marble style flooring. And we also have quartz here in the vanity top. That's not something you typically would see in a powder room bathroom. So I love that upgrade. To the left is going to be uh, bedroom number two. Now this is gonna be uh, a bedroom. You probably uh, would wanna keep this to a, a twin size bed uh, here in this space. Or of course it could be a second office uh, if needed. All right, to the right is going to be our primary bedroom, our stairs going straight up, and then our laundry room to the rear. I'm going to show you the garage first. We do have a epoxy that was put on this floor, and they're actually in the process of still uh, getting it straight. So it's not going to look like this. They have some sanding uh, they're going to do to it and uh, it's gonna look real interesting once they're done. Now, I mentioned water earlier, the well water. This is a purification system, um, and a lot of homes out here in the country have these systems to give you a better water quality. Uh, in the middle of the frame, that's gonna be our electric tankless water heater. This is the second tankless water heater that's electric I've seen here in a week, and that's very unusual uh, to see the electric style. Most of them are gas. Of course, we've got the two car garage. We've got a pedestrian door here to the left. All right, we're gonna go back in and I wanna show you this oversized laundry. Once again, we have a utility sink with a cabinetry with storage underneath. That's not something we often see. Normally, if it's a utility sink, it'll just be a utility sink. And uh, of course, washer dryer in place, plenty of space here on the left side if you wanted to do storage if you wanted to have shelving uh, there's just a lot of options uh, that you could have there uh, in that space and of course natural light through the window all right i'm now going to take you into our primary bedroom and this is special right here to the right is going to be walk-in closet number one and you can see we've got custom cabinetry there right there in the middle uh, recessed light in this space our bedroom itself actually has a door leading off to the deck. So if you wanted to pop out there uh, and get some air, you could do so. Uh, in addition, of course, to the ceiling fan that's in place, uh, this is gonna be that same LVP that we saw in the main area. And directly to the left 
is walk-in closet number two. And I think this one might be a touch larger with a safe in place. We've got some additional storage here on this side. So uh, just plenty of space here in this walk-in closet. All right, our primary bath, and this is nice. We've got that oversized vanity with quartz on the top. And that's probably a good, that's almost 10 feet. So plenty of space there. We've got the gorgeous deep tub and natural light flows in a little nook or two there on the wall. Our stand up shower is going to have the rainforest shower head with the marble like material all the way to the top. We've got that long drain there at the bottom. I've talked about that before. That's great because that's going to give you really good drainage. Uh, out the bottom of the shower and the 12 by 12 inch overhead shower head that is premium shower head technology right there our water closet and then we've got some additional storage here behind the door okay but there's more i am now going to take you upstairs and we've got some additional bedrooms up there so this would be great if there was a family that needed a high bedroom count and uh, you could definitely put people all over the house one on the end uh, the primary there and they've got upstairs so like that because all of your bedrooms are not really close together this is gonna be a long rectangular bedroom you could definitely go here with a uh, king size bed with no problem now these are the closets I was telling you about it is rare to see walk-in closets for secondary bedrooms to this extent. So we've got uh, plenty of them here on the other side of this area. Now remember, we are over the garage right now. We've got good light here in this passageway. Big, two big windows. This is going to be our full bath here on the second level. Once again, we've got the stand-up shower and a nice size vanity with quartz on the top. All right, I'm gonna take you now into bedroom number five, and here she is. Plenty of light, we've got three windows here, and uh, this could actually be utilized if somebody wanted to have uh, like an upstairs uh, office or den or exercise room. This would work for all of those, plenty of space here. Uh, you've got the, of course, full bath that we just left right across. So this could be used a number of different ways. And once again, the additional storage that that walk-in closet provides. Wow, this is a nice variation from what we normally see here in the marketplace. And uh, that's what it's all about. I want to bring you different. I want to bring you options and share information in the process. If you have questions about this or any other home on the market, please be sure to give me a call. My name is Max Williams. It'd be an honor for me to help. I can reach you on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thank you so much for taking a tour. Have a great day.